All right, so we need to talk about our group project. And yes, our group project. Decide on the topic and who we want to work with. Yeah, we really need to come up with some ideas here because our, our project due date is approaching quickly. Mm -hmm. So I think we seriously need to knock out some, uh, some good ideas here. Do some solid brainstorming. Do solid brainstorming, yeah. So we were talking about that we're going to help people in need. Yeah. So all around help people as our mission statement. What's our mission statement, Dana? Oh, our mission statement is we the students at CSUSM strive to better the lives of those in need. But it was we the students at CSUSM okay. strive to better the lives of those lives. in need. So we so need to define who those in need, need are. Just and, how we're go gonna, around. and how we're going to better them. Yeah. What we can do to help their lives. Yeah. Can you think of any? I work, I work with the homeless people. What is it that you do? I actually hire them to hold signs and twirl them on the corner. and So I employ up to 10 to 20 homeless people a week. So you're kind of giving them job skills. Job skills. Yeah, but I'm paying them to do that so we can't actually use that as the project. <laughs> but with the access I have to them, there might be other things we can do to... They we're, might we're even donations. have donations. Yeah, they might even have good ideas for us, like how to help other homeless people or what they need. They can, it's like, we can. Or I can talk to. Them. I work with certain organizations like like Interfaith of Escondido and a couple soup kitchens in San Diego that where they all stay in the shelters. It's really good. And they may have ideas of um, upcoming things or with the holiday season coming, Thanksgiving coming. I know they do Thanksgiving dinners. So there might be something we can do to help with that. Sounds like a good idea, good connections. Yeah, so I definitely think that's a good possibility. Um, we, is there any way you could contact them? Yeah, I'll call them, if there's any see if they ain't coming up. With, yeah. Maybe we can focus on Thanksgiving. Yeah, because isn't, Christmas would be too late, right? Yeah. Because yeah, the project's already going to be due. Mm -hmm. So Thanksgiving is actually probably um, Maybe we could do something. It's a good target. Can I just kind of stick with the hungry? was maybe we can collaborate with San Diego businesses and get them to donate food. Like people off this list? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good idea. I think there's an organization called Food Not Bombs or something that does oh. something just like that actually. Interesting. I don't know if we really want to go dumpster diving. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> mm, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we get the food from. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Is there any ideas uh, that you're thinking of? Um, what else we could help? Anyone else we could help? I heard about this idea in a class with Freddie Avalos, and I was actually talking about helping the field workers. Um, they just they have nothing. They actually live out in the fields. They do like hardcore labor during the day, and it gets really cold. Winter's coming, so I know that they were um, a while ago getting um, like men's clothing. Like they get really excited about Quicksilver stuff, like all the surf brands. They know what it is, but right. they don't have access. And then obviously blankets. Um, maybe tarps so, so they can set up could, shelter from like the rain and maybe we could do like a, a garage sale yard sale to yeah and even just get the funds right to and buy these we um, could do something with that money and then maybe the leftover clothing we could end up donating or yeah that actually sounds like a really good idea and i know that you can actually it's, it's really helpful to advertise on craigslist about those things because people like are always i mean willing to help out I, garage sales are big yeah um I actually have a connection with the Boys and Girls Club in Escondido. My mom Sorry. works there. Oh. So there's definitely, if we could use... Um, she might be able to help with some yeah. kind of coordination. Or there's definitely some potential there. So you can ask her there's maybe if there's events. anything coming up. Yeah, Obviously, I could actually yeah, give her a call and see if there's any events coming up that we could um, help out at. Or if there's anything that they actually need at the club that we could... Uh, Provide like yeah. volunteer work yeah. and art projects and things like yeah. that. What exactly is the Boys and Girls Club? Is it? Um, it's just an afternoon program for uh -huh. kids, like if their parents aren't home, for oh, them I to see. go and hang out. Yeah, mm -hmm. like after a school program, like a positive place for them to hang out. Kind of keeps them off the streets. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, so I'll actually, um, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll contact her and see if there's anything coming up that we can do. So maybe linking something together with the kids helping us doing something, and then being the whole reciprocal part of the project. Mm -hmm. So we so have to give yeah, back either to somebody giving else. Giving back to them or using them to help, like the field workers or something like that. It's definitely a good idea. Okay, well maybe we should lay out the ideas on the board. That sounds good. Cool. Rain. 
some homeless. Okay. What were you saying, Dana? Uh, the elderly. Elderly. I was saying field workers. Field workers. There also might be something we can do with animals. Ooh, I love puppies. There you go. And then John with like the children's boys and girls club children. Yeah, with so kids. Like the target? Yeah. Okay. Something else can do something with children. Okay. So we're elderly and children. How about from here, um, Dana? You want to research a little bit more on the organizations off that list, and then sure. we can kind of see what we have to work with. And then John, if you could talk to your mom about um, what our options would be at the boys and girls club. Um, we might just end up working with um, an elderly where, where they stay, the retirement homes. Mm -hmm. and So there's tons of those, just even in Escondido or San Marcos okay. that we could contact. And I'm sure they would love something like this. But that'd be cool because specifically the Boys and Girls Club we'd work with is in Escondido. So to keep it kind of in that, cool. that would be our target area, I think. Yeah. Okay. Good brainstorming, team. Sounds good. Good work. Good work.